Magic 102.7, the greatest hits of the 60s and 70s. More today than yesterday. It's 8.05. Did you say more today than yesterday? I say not more today than yesterday. One of our favorite songs here at the station. Look at him, number 89, Miami Dolphins. Thank you, thank you. Nat Moore. It's a pleasure to be here. Good to have uh, you. You know, uh, I got to get you a pair of these glasses I'm wearing because when you say I look like I'm, I'm ready to play, I'm about 30 pounds heavier than what I was when I played. You know? well, I, said, I said that when Nat walked in. I said, man, you still got your playing chops. You're looking like you can get out there and tear it up. Well, I'm still eating be... like I'm playing. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, you know, not, not, <laughs> not working out like when I was playing. What do you Now, I know you love golf, so you're out there. You and Marino knock it around at all? Uh, yeah, you know, funny story. Uh, Dan Marino, I used to play a lot of golf, especially when he came in. He was a rookie. You know, he was easy. You know, I could take his money. And, and oh, yeah. Other, you know, I'd say complete so, advantage with that one. He'd say, what are we going to play for? I say, hundreds. He says, okay, I ain't going to pay you no way. Then right. it got where he started practicing, and I was working because I had to go into the real world and get a job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he kept practicing. I kept working. And then we started playing. He says, we're playing for hundreds, and now we're paying. I say, oh, no, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's pretty good. He's uh, he's probably uh, very close to a two handicap, and I'm more like about a six. So, you know, Wow. Well, you he, both are pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah, we, um, we, we sort of take a little pride in everything we do, and uh, golf just happened to be the way that I replace football, you know, my, yeah, yeah. my entire life I competed every weekend, whether it was football, basketball, baseball as a kid growing up, and then all of a sudden, now, it's I, over. Yesterday, I, fe- I fell at home and I just banged my knee and, I, and I'm complaining and dying about it, but you guys must, I mean, you get hit every week. I mean, you get not just your knee, but every part of your body, especially you with that helicopter catch against the Jets. You, you mean I don't, you're trying to figure out why one side of my neck is no, this way and the other is that way? I'm just way. saying, you, what kind of pains are you guys in on he a Monday morning? Well, well I, yeah. I think what happens is you condition yourself for it. I yeah. mean, that's why you have the off-season training program where guys are working out, trying to get stronger, trying to build their body to take the punishment. And uh, as you get out of the game, those injuries, because you're not working at it, you're not working on your muscles, atonement, and et cetera, start to come back. So uh, I had nine knee surgeries. Wow. And uh, mm. knock on wood, none of it was uh, ACL. So, you know, I'm able to move around pretty good, but a lot of guys are hurting. Wow. Well, we're with Nat Moore, number 89, Miami Dolphins. Special weekend coming up. We're going to give away some tickets to the Dolphins' uh, San Francisco game. That's the honor roll induction game. That's where uh, Bob Bumhauer, Doug Betters, Killer Bees get put up on the ring around well, the stadium. Well, it's, it's uh, uh, Bob Bumhauer, Doug Betters will get uh, inducted into the honor roll. Uh, the Killer Bees is the group that they were sure. uh, basically the leaders of. And they will be number uh, 17 and 18 going up in the ring, which is, uh, you know, fortunate for me. I'm in the ring. Absolutely. I grew up here. Seen you there. And, um, you know, I think about the Hall of Fame. I think about all those other accolades. You know, when you get your name put up in the stadium that you played at, you know, in the city that you played. That's in your hometown. Because the people that you know and love and the people that know and love you will get to see it every time they go to the stadium. That's sweet. Now, you, you would love to be in Canton. But if mm-hmm. I had to hit my druthers, I'd much rather be up in the stadium where I played. And uh, I know as a, as a former player, when I traveled around the league, the thing that I used to always look up in the stadium and see whose name or who <laughs> were the great players. Sure, yeah. And yeah. when your name goes up, and Bob and Doug both deserve it because they were tremendous, tremendous players here for the Dolphins uh, during the 80s. So we're excited about uh, th- their inclusion. Uh, we're going to have a big uh, weekend. It's our annual alumni weekend where we'll have a golf tournament on Friday at uh, Doral. For hundreds? You playing uh, for hundreds? For thousands. I would, I would <laughs> like to, but, you know, my job of that day is to run the tournament, you know. Okay, well, that's good. So it's, not, it's, it's a, it's a uh, fun deal where we're inviting the public to come out and be a part of it. Uh, we'll have uh, some of our top guys out there uh, participating, uh, Jimmy Kick, uh, Larry Little. Uh, I think Don Shula's going to show up. Oh, I heard cool. a rumor somewhere that Marino might. Wow, show that'd up, be nice, uh, yeah. Bob Greasy. I mean, so we're, we've got uh, an all-star cast. And uh, then on Saturday night, we have a, um, a gala party, an auction where we'll bring in uh, about 80 guys will be there from, from former Dolphin players. And um, we expect to have about 400, 400 to 500 people out there. It'd be a great night of entertainment. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, uh, Cleveland Clinic stepped in, and they're sponsoring all of our entertainment and et cetera. So, you know, it's 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 great to have corporate citizens that will support what you're trying to do. And I know I just got a commercial in, so uh, let me <laughs> let me say this to you that all the funds that are raised 
go back to kid charities here in South Florida. So mm -hmm. I, I want people to know that it's not the Dolphins making money. It's it's more money for the foundation that will allow us to support more kid groups here in South Florida throughout the year. And now you're involved with another winning team, the Florida Gators, right, man? How about this Tebow? I mean, every week it's better and better well, up there. Let's knock on wood because yeah. we got one more to go. And yeah. then uh, uh, if we can take care of Alabama and uh, Nick Saban um, in Atlanta on Saturday, uh, we'll get the Gators down here, hopefully, in the BCS championship. But, well, I uh, think a lot of Dolphin fans would like you to take care of Nick Saban. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we would like to do that. Um, you know, the, 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 the reality of it, you've got two fine football teams. And, uh, you know, I have to be very careful because a lot of my former teammates played at Alabama. Yeah, And, sure. uh, you, you know, Dwight Stevens and I were going yeah. at it yesterday about this. You are a winner, man. It's great to have you here. You played for the Dolphins the whole time. You're in, in the honor roll. You're going to be out there for Alumni Weekend. And uh, to get tickets to the Dolphins 49ers game, you just call 888-FINS-TICKS or go to MiamiDolphins.com. And MiamiDolphins.com is where you can get all the information on the Dolphin activities for the alumni weekend. So people who want to come and see you guys up close and personal. Okay. Right. And, and uh, you know, the, the actual induction ceremony is Sunday. I think yeah, I left that out time. when I was talking about mm -hmm. the gala party and all those yes. good things. But the actual induction ceremony is uh, on Sunday. And we'd love to have all the fans come out and support Bob and Doug, uh, two guys that played their hearts out, uh, you know, Know, gave their guts while they were here, and uh, they would they would love to see the the stadium full. Well, they'll get a standing ovation, no doubt. We're going to give away a pair of tickets to that right game now. right now. And would you be cool enough to sign a magic T shirt? We'll throw that into the. Uh, I'll be more than happy to, to the package for the uh, listener caller number nine at one eight hundred nine two four one zero two seven. See the Finns take on San Francisco Sunday, December fourteenth for the uh, the big honor roll induction uh, alumni weekend. That's yeah. going to be fantastic. And awesome. I don't mean to be fresh, but you do look great. Well, you thank you. Thank you. Like you're ready to run out on the field again. Well, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Nat. More MiamiDolphins.com for all your information, your tickets, and a great charity event. Uh, we appreciate you coming by. 813 at Magic 102.7.